Hey Gemini, what's going on? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here to do another reading for my lovely Gemini's and my collective. What's going on, y'all? I hope everybody. Oh, hold on. Let me pause this for Archangel Michael pass by. Okay? Or y'all want to hear it? Okay, we can wait till you hear it. <laughs> Somebody just got caught up. The bell has been rung. Okay, so. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your love, your participation, everything that you do. New subscribers, welcome, welcome. Returning day ones, I love you, I love you. Everybody, cross watchers, all y'all. Y'all know y'all got my heart and I love each and every one of you. Sending all love, light and healing energy. And if you're not having a good day, we're sending good vibes for you to have one. But I feel like someone's not having a good one right now just based on what's going on. Now, I was doing to get a little in feeling of the energy that was going on. And this is like the neatest I've ever done. And I'm like, wow, okay, well, um, this is fluid, okay? Energy is past, present, future. It doesn't matter when. This could be, but I'm picking up, this is current energy, okay? Like right now. This could have happened in the past, which led to this current energy right now. Yeah, it happened in the past because somebody closed out a cycle. And now they're like, oh, my God. Okay, so anyway... Um, keep in mind it's a general message, okay? It's not going to resonate with everybody, somebody, nobody. We don't know, but it's provocative, okay? It gets the people going. <laughs> Shout out to my bro, bro. Okay, um, only take what fits and leave the rest. Don't get greedy with the messages, okay? There's like a lot of things going on with each and every one of y'all, okay? I'm not going to pick up everybody's energy, so don't try to force the message to be yours. So Gemini, real quick, come to the front, come to the front. <clears throat> One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. <laughs> this is not funny. T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, 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 it could be a, somebody in authority, boss, daddy. It could be a lot of things. The emperor re represents a lot. But sometimes, just because the emperor is upright, depending on the energy behind it, it just tells what's going on. Because this emperor is mad that he had sex outside of his marriage, or they, he had sex, for some of them, they went outside the marriage. Like I said, it's going to resonate, because as I'm speaking, Spirit's giving me downloads of clarifications where all the situations could be. For you guys there's an emperor who ooh, he went outside his marriage to another family situation that was married okay i don't know if that other person told them about it because the seven of swords is here and now child i don't know somebody violated somebody so the married person that cheated with the married person they were married if that doesn't resonate for some of y'all and then this other person the, the emperor had a one night stand outside of his marriage now, this could be your husband, this could be your father, this could be your uncle, it could be any boss, daddy, CEO, or whatever the case may be. But this emperor is broke. I'm getting that energy because he's sad right now because he's at the Six of Pentacles with his damn hand out because the actions that he took, this work, Eight of Pentacles, it, it, it's put a slowdown to his money. So I want to know why the emperor is broke. Like, what is the emperor, though, spirit? This, this, the emperor is a manipulator. The emperor likes to come off like the queen of pentacles. So they could, this is a masculine that could have feminine energy or they were manipulated by a cancer. I mean, not a can it could be a cancer or they were manipulated by a queen of pentacles. I was going to say a Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo. And now they're all in their head and shit. Okay. Um, because they lost out on some type of offer. So for some of y'all, this was... Your emperor, you weren't married or you were in a ten of cups with them and you thought they were your wish fulfillment, but this emperor was cheating on you the whole time. So this emperor is a little flighty in his knight of wands energy, okay? He likes third parties with the three of pentacles and that gives this person wish fulfillment, but whatever this one night stand that they had, 
it got them stuck coming where from I'm from. I'm from Anthony Anthony Hamilton. And now you feel backstabbed and betrayed, or this emperor feels backstabbed and betrayed, or maybe this emperor went outside of your marriage and backstabbed and betrayed you to the married person. And then the married person told him that they were single, but they was married. And now this emperor feels backstabbed and betrayed because he thought, child, this is too much. This is way too much because he thought he was getting his wishes fulfilled, honey. Yes, he did. Or she did this King of Swords energy. And now they all sad and shit because the wheel done turned and, 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 and things are being balanced. So I guess what's good for the goose is good for the ganda. Okay, so now they're pissed off because they done did some impulsive shit, lying and shit, and now they holding on to you, Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watcher, whoever you are, or you're holding on to them and you have wishful thinking. I don't know, you could be a little childish in your communication. So this emperor is very childlike, I'm getting. And a lot of you guys are sick of this shit and you hit into the cycle because you'd rather remain single, abundant, self-sufficient on your own. And you done kicked the emperor out or you got rid of them or her or whatever the case may be. And you done moved on to calmer waters, okay? And now this emperor, whoever this young-minded emperor, the emperor is, they want to move to calmer waters because they feel like now they fucked up and now they... So this... Why would this man cheat if he ain't got... Like, like I'm confused. Spirit, don't... They say don't be confused. <laughs> don't ever be confused. He's a Casanova. So this is a, like a, um, I'm getting homosexual, ace, boon, coon, gigolo type energy from this emperor. And he, he's, he plays a lot of games. He thought he was playing checkers. No, he thought he was playing chess because he got a chess piece in his hand. Okay. He thought he, he thought he had, he thought he was playing somebody in this third party situation. Okay. But come to find out, you knew everything the whole damn time. You knew this motherfucker, what they were doing and shit, and shit like that. You knew they about their manipulation. Yeah. Um. And so how did you find out, Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watcher, or whoever found out, or whoever, who, how did they find out? This Queen of Pentacles. Wishes fulfilled. Was somebody, how did they find out? Hold on, spirit. Because I'm trying to channel how they found out. Oh, you went spying on this person. Thank you, sir. Right in front of my face. Lord have mercy. So you went spying on this King of Swords emperor or the King of Swords went spying on your ass. You could be a fire sign emperor or you, you could be an air sign that has fire in their chart. Okay. You can have a little bit of water or this person has a little bit of water in their chart. Okay. So you could be a Cancer, Pisces and or Scorpio. Okay. But, um... This King of Swords, their, their Nine of Cups is th third party situations. So they're always trapped in third party situations. It's too much third party, honey. Too much one night stand. So they're known for stepping out on their marriage. Yes. And maybe you was putting up with it for a while. Yeah, you was. Maybe you got burnt, clapped, and crunched from them because they done picked up something from one of these, with whoever they be cheating with. Lord, oh, that's how you started getting. Okay, so. Some of y'all got burnt, crunched, and clapped by this emperor. This emperor kept denying and lying about how they was not cheating in the relationship. Okay, but you went spying. You like, fuck that shit. I don't see the hermit up here, but I feel like you you went spying. And you found out what you needed to find the fuck out. And then the wheel turned. So when this motherfucker came home, I don't know if you threw a pot of grits on him. Or, yeah, when they came home, honey. I don't know what the fuck. Honey, there was a fucking... <laughs> There was a fucking fight broke out, an altercation, child. And that's when you was like, bitch, I'm going my own way. And he was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I ain't got no money, though. Or I ain't got no stable stable foundation. Or you're my foundation. And wait. And you was like, bitch, I ain't got shit to do with that. And so, I mean, hey, that's, ooh. Mm. So you went started off on your new beginning. So there is, so why are we getting this energy? So Spirit's just giving me the backdrop because I was trying to figure out what's going on. So we're going to get current energy of what's going on moving forward after this energy story, okay? So now you, you got Ten of Swords from this third party situation or they Ten of Swords you. You thought this was your wish fulfillment. You thought this was your everything. Y'all was having good sex. But I don't feel like the communication was there because this Page of Cups, I don't see the, what the Page of Swords... This person's immature, but I don't feel like, I feel like the communication was not there, okay? There was some type of communication problem or whatever the case may be because this person has so many options that they just didn't give a fuck. Oh, damn. So how did this, ooh, mm. Child, I'm just as surprised as y'all. 
But anyway, you ended it and the cycle's now complete. So I, ooh, I'm, mm. so I don't care if this is your husband. For some of y'all, it was your husband or it wasn't your husband. You guys have like a, what is that, common law? So this was a con either a marriage or a common law, same damn thing. Okay, because you have to realize, see, the thing is, you don't have to be married to cheat or break the spiritual law of common spiritual union. Okay, so I feel that this was a spiritual higher level union that this person was supposed to follow or, or you guys were supposed to go on this journey of healing with, but that you were holding on to a liar. And God probably had to pull down this tower because whatever this relationship was, was built on a false foundation. Or somebody, ooh, honey, somebody angry. This emperor is very angry with himself, so he did catch something and brought it home to his Ten of Pentacles. Yes, he did, and he holding on to the lies that it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to do word magic on you because he knows that you're his foundation because you're showing up as the Nine of Pentacles all alone and on your own along with this Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you were this person's wish fulfillment, and they're now they're wishing for you. They want their mother back, or they want their wife back, or they want their family back. They're begging on their knees. They're doing some magic to call you in, okay? that We're still in this moon phase of energy. So you might be feeling somebody pulling on your sacral chakra, your root chakra, or even your third eye chakra or something like that because now they realize that this shit is fucked. Like, they, honey, they messed up. This emperor. Oh, Lord, okay. And um, this whole, now you're realizing that this whole marriage was a lie damn or the whole relationship was a lie it was false but you had been getting downloads to end it but your love for this person you just want i mean maybe you was dickmatized or coochie so yeah you was do you was coochie matized until you got burnt clapped and crunched from it oh lord have mercy this person could be a leo knight a uh, king of cups you had a lot of love for this person or this person i don't know i don't i want to say they love your sex that's what i'm i am going to say this person yeah, but you communicated something to this person about if they were going, if they was going to go ahead, or you communicated that if they went out in the relationship and cheated on you, that you would end, end it with them. Yeah, you communicated that you would end it with them and give them justice or something like that. Or now they're remembering what you said to them about cheating and how you would leave them out in the cold. Okay, because you're the queen of wands. You confident. You like, bitch, if you don't, mm -mm, you don't, mm -mm, you don't play that shit. You don't, you don't play. So now this person's sad because they think you've done money. Well, they was already broke. So now this person trying to do magic on your shit, but you still the nine of pentacles. You already know it. You already know. So if you, if you fa facing, I don't know, if you're going through some money losses for some of y'all, it's because you walked away. Okay. And they're really sad because they can't believe they got caught up in this third party energy and they can't believe they want you to come here, come here, draw back, come back to me. Because I can't make it without you. Because I ain't shit. I ain't shit. I ain't no good. Mm -hmm, but I still love you though. Yeah, we together. Like they all in they trapped in their head. They're reflecting on everything. This whole relationship. And how you're so strong. They don't like your strength. Your strength. Okay, so this person could be jealous of you. This husband, father figure. But I'm getting husband. Okay? Or, or the woman shouldn't be jealous of the emperor. But I'm not getting the woman energy. I do, I am getting for some of y'all, there's a woman in her emperor energy though that likes third party situations and her, her JJ, that shit is bumping, pos, popping and leaking and shit. And you went to, so she done burned your shit. Yeah, she did. She done burned your wand, baby. And so they got you like, what the fuck is this cuz? Oh, so now that's why you feeling backstabbed and betrayed because you know you're faithful. Okay, the emperor is outstanding, upright, okay? He don't need all these concubines like the king of wands might sometimes, okay? Yes, and so you have structure and discipline. You have, you know when to hold, you, like you love this person. So your love for whoever you were married to just would not allow you to go outside the relationship. But their love for you did not allow them to go outside. It allowed them to go ahead and travel and creep and have all these... So you're, you have a creeper on your hands, or you had a creeper on your hands, child. So yeah, who kept a lot of conflict and chaos, and then they would try to, what is this, uh, ace of cup? Yeah, they will always use the past. So I'm getting a couple of things. There's a feminine energy that burnt an emperor, okay? He kept going back to her, knowing she was a hoe, or he was a hoe, okay? 
So they were forewarned already before they went back, and that's why this tower is here, because this person just swore to God that they was a ten of cups, and God was like, no, bitch, they, they cheat on your ass. They cheat on you with the world, honey. Yes, they do. So, yes, they do. This is a cheater, okay? This is a cheater, okay? They party all the time. This could be a party animal. And that's the tower as this emperor finally realized because he knew, but I, I heard, oops, I did it again. So <laughs> I'm not laughing like that. I can laugh, okay? But I'm not laughing at you. Look, shit, don't, don't get me going about this laughing and shit because it's funny to me. This whole situation don't make no sense to me, child. What is, why are we knowing this spirit? They, they say, hold on now. We're going to do another deck and it's going to explain all this other stuff, but I needed to get this out. So is this just you, Gemini? So what is this emperor? Go so he said he want to come back. He need he, the reason he want to come back, baby, because he needs your stability. Because you're the queen of wands. You're self-sufficient, very sexy, lovely, wonderful, beautiful. This could be an interracial couple for sure. Okay, your person could be a part of the rainbow family. Okay. Yeah, oh, for some of y'all. Child, I don't know. This is okay for some of y'all. The woman is part of the rainbow family. This emperor, this woman. So whoever this emperor was was having, I don't know, a family with or tried to have a family with, they was bisexual, okay, and going out and sleeping with everybody else of the the same sex, and li likewise for the man. So your man was heterosexual with you, but when he was in them streets, honey, he was a he or she was a freak in the sheets, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, they was, honey. That was their wish fulfillment to have these third-party situations, and they didn't think they was ever going to get caught. Maybe because they thought they looked good or something, or y'all had good sex, or they thought they sex was going to be able to keep you from walking away but until somebody got burnt, crunched, and clapped, or child. Okay, so you walked away anyway, so I'm feeling like you're like, nah, the sex was cool, but it was not, mm, no. Okay, I am my wish fulfillment. So you realize what sex really is. You don't let it take control of you. You have willpower. Okay, so you know how to control yourself. Your so your chakras are all aligned. Okay, but this person's chakras, they not all aligned, honey. They all over the place. Child, they heart chakras at the bottom. Also, yeah, the, so their heart chakra is kind of like, they see, see right here when I get this yellow, because it should be red, yellow, and green, right? But it has yellow, which is the sacral solar plex chakra area. Then we have the root chakra. So they have an overactive sacral and root chakra while the love is at the end and so that the love that they have is this wish fulfillment so they are led by their genitalia this king of swords energy is mm -hmm. and so his his shit is backwards or her shit is backwards okay um yeah they ain't got nothing so now they they feel backstabbed and betrayed by you because you left them out hanging or you left them stuck and now you're like, no, bitch, you backstabbed and betrayed me. So somebody's off somewhere. This man or woman, they off with this backstab and betrayal. They the ones who caused their demise, and now they're upset with you because you won't take them back no more because they thought they shit was so good that you would never, ever leave. And they was doing sex magic on you, too, while they was having sex with you. But you was always protected because you're the queen of wands, and you probably already knew and felt that. And that's why you was like, yeah, I'm about to close this motherfucking cycle out with this person that whose head is in the clouds, whose head is in the clouds always. They have a t hard time struggling with their feelings, okay? They have some type, they say you should know how they feel. It's unspoken. Bitch, more than words. It's all I ever needed for you to know that my love is for you is real. That way I wouldn't have to say it because you would already know by my actions. So this person's actions were showed you this, Decepticon actions, okay? They was being sneaky, deceptive, lying in this relationship, this marriage. They want you to forgive them because maybe you forgave them before. But this was the last, this was the last crossing at the rodeo, honey. Okay, this was your last ride at the rodeo with this energy. Who you're married to or spiritually married to, who does things impulsive. They could have a motorcycle. Okay, maybe they got into a car accident. I don't know, maybe something happened to their motorcycle and now they got to take a boat. I don't know. <laughs> but, um... Now they're sad. It's a missed opportunity. Like they feel like they know this is the last. They, yeah, they know this is the last ride at the Rodeo. Okay. Some of y'all could be shopping on Rodeo Drive and shit. Okay. Living your life like it's golden as you should. Doing a little bit of retail therapy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
but this person is needy though they so fucking needy and they are part of the rainbow family unbeknownst to you that's why god had to close out a cycle not that because they were part of the rainbow family it's because they were lying and being deceptive with their emotions emotionally manipulating you and you don't deserve that you deserve transparency authenticity and truth okay this person was not either of that with you or themselves so god had to shut this shit down cause a tower to this family unit okay because everybody was doing too much nobody's living so i feel like for some of them both of them was was part of the reedy rainbow family okay but they were lying about it still or something like that oh, okay y'all and then what else holy spirit Mm. Child, this one night stand caused a fight because somebody broke out with some damn STD or some. Either they broke out with something, baby. I'm sorry, because we have the page of we the page of wands and the five of wands because of the child they reading rainbows. So, so maybe ooh, and that was a secret. So maybe some of y'all really didn't know about it. Maybe you had suspicions about it, and now you're like, oh my god, or something like that. Yeah, girl, you were like all this time. They was giving their love to somebody else. So they were doing it. So this could be a long-term marriage or relationship. At least 10 years or more. A little bit less, give or take. Possibly seven for some of you guys. But um, you had suspicions about this traveling hoe over here. But for some reason, why did you... Why would... Spirit, why... You was dickmatized, like I told you, until you got burnt. Did it take you to get burnt? You always use... Your, okay, so this is a energy okay so we're gonna go to this other deck later spirit is just telling me this is for someone that use your intuition use your intuition you thought you was crazy or maybe you was too your heart was wrapped up your head was in the clouds you was on cloud nine and you wasn't thinking logically you wasn't thinking logically you was accepting so god could have saved your life maybe it could have got what maybe the burn crunching clock could have been worse girl now you ooh, honey mmm so now some of y'all's VJJ look like this, or this emperor went into somebody's VJJ look, that looked like this, transferred that shit over to you, child, and that's when the tower got brought down, okay? Because like I said, whoever you are, you are, baby, the emperor, the upright, structured person, you're faithful, okay? Mm. And maybe that's why God had to, okay, for some of y'all, you did, for some of y'all, the car, okay, oh my God. Some of y'all, the karmic, they went with the karma. The, the other person that I said was married. That's their karma for cheating with a married person, possibly for them destroying a Ten of Cups energy. So whoever this, because the Queen of Pentacles, the mother figure, they could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo who they were working in cahoots with behind the background. Okay, and then now they got burnt, crack, clapped, and crunched and brought that shit over to their marriage, and now their marriage is desoluted. However, that's working out. And so now this King of Swords feeling some kind of way. Child, because, ooh, Lord have mercy. Mm. Well, that should be a lesson to be not having one night stands, especially if you're in a union, especially if maybe, especially if y'all didn't agree on it. And y'all coming out with these masks on, acting like, you know, I'm faithful, I'm faithful, but I'm not cheating. Okay, so two married people got with another married person. They was cheating on each other. And God had his way of saying, bringing down this tower to let people know how they were cheating doing things in the dark will always be brought to the light okay but even though it was, was the Kanye song even though it can't always be night even though we, they don't want to cut something and it can't look it can't always be night you can't always be ignorant and move in dumbness okay you got to be some type of epiphany and the epiphany was almost sadly too late for this emperor for some of y'all, it was herpes. For other y'all, it was warts. For other y'all, I'm hearing gonorrhea. Lord have mercy. And um, mm, something that you can see on the outside of the area. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Ooh, so now somebody's genitals is about to be scarred for life. Oh, Lord have mercy. And they can't believe it, honey. So they know, so somebody want to come back to you with scarred genitals, honey, for some of y'all, Okay. So I'm picking up, like I said, present, past, and or in the near future. Y'all keep your eyes open and stay the fuck woke, okay? Don't be in this heart space of wishful thinking that this is your person when you're getting downloads and intuitions from God the Most High and your ancestors that this motherfucker is going out and creeping on you. For some of y'all, you're like, as long as they pay the bills, I don't give a damn what they do. Well, you're going to have to pay for that shit too, 
Okay, you're defiling the marriage. You're defi- in my opinion, and God said, and his opinion too, you're defiling the marriage. And that's why he had to put a halt to something and somebody got stopped in their tracks because, ooh, damn, you better take God seriously in his unions and shit. Don't be thinking you can go out and have a free-for-all. Lord have mercy. I mean, you could have a free-for-all, but that's going to cause a five of wands conflict energy. Ooh, yes, it is. And now you see that. So you had to learn the hard way because you invested in an illusion. So it took for you to invest in an illusion. And see, the thing is, God was trying to show you the whole time that what you were investing in or thinking you were getting away with or creeping around or sneaking around, that it was nothing more than an illusion. You got bit. Your snake got bit, okay? And now you're feeling foolish. And maybe, depending on what it is, this person might want to unalive themselves. Or they feel foolish for taking a leap of faith on a third-party situation from their past that they were told to leave behind. But they had so they thought they was going to get that Ace of Cups if they just did it one more try. I'm hearing Brian McKnight. One more try before I leave it all behind. I got to put you out of my mind this time. Stop living a lie. I'm all cried out over you. Now, I don't know if I got them words right, cut y'all. That shit hit me like that. It could have been a lot off key. <laughs> it could have been a lot off key, but y'all got it. It's Brian McKnight, one last cry before I leave it all behind. And now this emperor is trying to cry. He can't stop crying over you now. He trying to get you out of his mind this time. He can't. He was living a lie. He all cried out. Now he can't stop crying. Because you was the Ten of Cups and he fucked it all up for a one night damn stand. So the lesson of this story is, y'all stop being, y'all need to get y'all chakras in order. Okay, look, you got your solar plex stop. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is backwards. Backwards. Now this should be under here. Like, so I'm just saying, somebody's chakras are all aligned not aligned and you have a sex addiction or a third party addiction or attention horror addiction or some type of addiction now you're drinking and shit because you burn in constantly now what disease cause you to burn what disease burns y'all um deep spirit Ooh, and you in balance i don't know if you can sit down or something like that Ooh, honey you can't sit down you got to stand up Child, I don't know what this is, child. You like, it's over. Oh, honey, whatever. Mm, and something told you. And you were really angry about it because the high priestess came out. Because something told your ass. Something told your ass about whatever you were getting ready to dive into or get into to not do that shit. Child, okay, but you were so toxic and low vibrational. It was like, come here. Or maybe the person that you was with, they was, um, um, they showing up as the queen of wands maybe and you thought that, that was your wish fulfillment but honey they done had some strings attached because they already had something else going on you see the string attached and whatever that deal that you made with them it had a string attached honey and now somebody can't take it so this is all cried out man okay so uh, Gemini I'm going to reading right there I'm going to go grab them. <laughs> this is pretty interesting y'all get yourself together whoever this is Hi, bye, babies. You got yourself together. But always listen to your intuition. It will never lie to you. I don't care how crazy it sounds. I don't care how far off it sounds. Okay, what's far off sounding is not you listening to that intuition and ended up in this situation with this tower and your whole family's fucked up now or your genital is fucked up now or something's tore up now. Okay, because you didn't listen to your intuition because somebody was still too hot in the pants. And now they're, now I don't know, for some of them they mad at you because you won't take them back. Because you all cried out. Because some of y'all cried over this person and cried over this person. And now you realize it's a missed opportunity to move on with your life. So now you don't have any really emotions for this person. You realize how immature and the moves that they made. And you could, you married a baby-like energy. A grown-ass person and a baby-like energy, okay? Very immature, very childish, very selfish. Um, it's very hard to have a relationship with a two-year-old when you're grown, Okay? Um, and that still likes to have parties and th- child. Oh. Anyway, Gemini, I'm out of here. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.